Hey everyone, Buzzword here, and today we're going to look at the last beta version for Siege Up. So this is um, about the Android and PC versions, and here's the change log that the developer has posted on the announcements in uh, Discord. So there's quite a lot of changes here, but some of the main ones is just improvements and fixes to the existing campaign that was actually broken um, due to the recent updates with all the multiplayer and the new units and stuff like that. So let's just have a quick look at uh, some of the things that he mentioned. There's some fixed levels. There's a news window now, so on the homepage uh, of the game, there is that. Um, new way to switch city hall spawning. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, let's see, optional camera rotation and groups. So I think that's good it, for phone users because uh, sometimes you accidentally rotate the camera and you didn't intend to. Um, so it fixed with giants, uh, not attacking after wall restoration, some fixes to the transport ship. So this is a change with the uh, fixed connection. Um, and an improvement with the servers. So sometimes when you have servers and everyone leaves, the kind of server keeps going. So this now should solve that problem. Uh, so this next thing is something about the map editor. Uh, was it new units destroyed trigger reacting? Um, one of units is dead. Okay. Uh, not the bot can attack walled castle on an island. Not sure exactly what that means. It's a bit the wording's a bit odd. Um, so the giant's attack mission is now increasing difficulty. Uh, units can enter the tower's top, so I think that's to do with the wall, and they have like the corner tower. Um, I think this is replace peasants to spearmen in desert trader. I think that's a campaign mission, a fixed spawn for bot command. So I think that's something to do with the map editor. Yeah, so a, a lot of improvements. Um, if you want to read it for yourself, I think you can go ahead. Uh, just some of the other th key things that I would like to mention. Just there's a Steam link now also in the game and um, an explanation for connecting via uh, playing a local game. So with your own Wi-Fi. So yeah, this is available once again on the itch.io uh, store page. So um, you can download it there. And it's actually an extra hotfix right after that. So version 1.1.51 1 uh, there was something to do with a server um, issue so the developer has fixed that up he even said that uh, <laughs> so instead of, of breakfast I was fixing bugs so good um, good for him to, for doing that um, so yeah that means that soon we will have the uh, new version be released to the Play Store and iOS Store and the itch.io as well for PC. Um, I think for users of iOS, um, I think the developer said something about um, releasing that maybe next week. So yes, play, just stay tuned for that. Um, so if you want to keep up with the news, make sure you subscribe to the announcements. So yeah. Oh, and one thing I'd like to mention is that one of the community members named Lop has created a RPG style of map. Uh, it is currently, I think, um, he's still building it, but he posted a preview on YouTube and I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so unfortunately for us, um, for any English speakers, it's not actually, like he's speaking in Russian, so I don't know exactly what he's saying, but I have turned on the auto captions here on YouTube. So um, if you want to, have a full uh, detail look at this video make sure to check it out but I'm just gonna quickly skip through it to kind of give you an impression of uh, what he's built so far so starting off here we see we have like a worker there and you see these two menus at the top so um, he's able to build and heal himself up um, he has like a hundred HP at the moment and his attack I think is like seven um, so one of the things here 
you can do is walk over some food and I think he'll be able to um, press that button, like pick up food, and he'll be able to uh, collect food into his inventory. So we can see him do that right now. And you see his um, food go up from like 33 to 39 over there. So some of the things uh, he's implemented is pretty much resource gathering where um, you can pick up stone, wood and food. So I'm just gonna skip through some of these other things. Um, so he has attacked something there. He's lost some HP. Um, there again, <laughs> he's attacking one of these archers there. And you can see that this is a bit of an adventure. You see that on the mini map, he's only explored like um, about a fifth of the map so far. And yeah, this is really interesting as a map because it really opens the door for other map makers to create something similar or improve on um, what he's built so far. So personally, I didn't even know that this was possible to do, um, but he's definitely <laughs> created this RPG, like the first one in the game. So now you can see he has like an extra ability here, a fireball, um, and he's carrying some meat on his back as well, which is pretty cool. Bit of a mod right there. I'm um, just going to skip through again. So he's in a different area now. So he's just exploring through the mountains, I think it is. Um, there's like a tent there. He's cooking things. So he can cook hot fish, which is pretty cool. Build a campfire. Nice. <laughs> he's uh, built a house now. But yeah, I won't spoil too much of it. Um, if you want to check out the full video, the link is in the description again. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this quick update um, on what's been happening on this uh, RTS Siege Up game um, in terms of the updates and what's been happening in the community. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like below and comment if you'd like. And I'll see you guys next time.